Okay, that was some technical difficulties. Sorry, I don't know if I actually started that. I think I started it for a split second, but um, I forgot to move my mic over to this from my desk. What's going on, guys? <clears throat> As usual, we have a mess. Neo, RZ, Armods, J Forge, Jason. What's going on, guys? Hey, everybody. How's it going? Excuse me while I adjust things. So, I still haven't completely unpacked from End War. So, I still have all my. I brought my soldering stuff, so. Uh, with me to end war, so I still have it all packed up. I hope I didn't lose that. Oh, no, no, I see it. <coughs> Com clean compared to my workspace. Uh, we will find out in a second what Helix is. If you know, Jason, I, r I ask that you don't say anything too early. I integrated part of a hyperfire grip into Malice's grip. Sweet. Peter Butter was over, uh, what was it, Saturday? We were working on some HPA stuff for him. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and set this back up. I'm so sorry about that, uh, about me forgetting the, the other bits, Neo. I went back through our messages and I was like, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I couldn't find anything, so I just left it be and I should have asked. Uh, yeah, he's working on it. Peter's working on an HPA build. So, I don't have funding. I don't even have a person to help me because I don't know how to actually communicate it, but I have a cage that I'm relatively happy with. Um, I'm not 100% done with testing, but if testing goes the way I want it to and continues to go down the path that it has started, um, this cage has the possibility of replacing Ethereal Fortress's cage. And for some of you, you have absolutely no idea what that means. But to those of you who know me, that's kind of a big deal. Because I'm a little picky. Can do without, thank you for This is just, I'll just, you want some blue dart hand. <laughs> Now, um, if it's going to even attempt to replace Ethereal Forge's cage, it would need to be machined, which is why I said I don't really have the funding. Um, but it's a 3D printed stage right now. Are you building another Strife or Raven? Uh, no, no. Uh, well, I mean, I need to work on a commission, but... Okay, have that sorted out. Set up our soldering here. Let's put it up here. Hey Pete, what's going on? Is the cage that you posted on Instagram? It is. Can you machine the cage yourself the way you've been doing? Um, not 
without a CNC machine, and I'm currently not certified for CNC. I will by the end of uh, fall, but I'm currently not certified for that. Hold on one sec. I fixed my uh, supports. I used to have a lot of trouble getting the supports off, which is one of the reasons why I didn't print a lot of cages, but I've since fixed that issue by a little bit of adjusting. And this is Helix. Now, to an untrained eye, it looks like a normal OFP cage, but I specifically talked with Phil for this one uh, to meet my specifications. So it's my numbers, my specifications, my, um, well, specifications, and Phil's design, OFP's design. So what this is, is a 42.5 millimeter crush, and it has a 3.5 degree cant on each wheel. And I wasn't convinced at first, I wasn't happy with the performance. Uh, I was using hooligan wheels, and it was kind of, it was, it was super accurate. It was more accurate than just the OF, or excuse me, just the Morpheus cage. But it was still kind of doing this in a pat not physically spinning, but like a pattern. It was kind of a larger circle, circle than I wanted, uh, like a foot, foot and a half, somewhere around there, uh, from like 60 feet. And, you know, I, I was kind of meh about it. So I kept testing it, kept testing it, and as the, I can only assume, foam buildup on the wheels got better, um, it started narrowing the circle and eventually I got it to end war and showed Phil directly. Uh, it was only for a second. He didn't really comment on it. But it kind of shot perfectly straight. Like all six or seven of the shots that I did. And I wasn't expecting that when I actually showed him. So I still need to do more testing. But it is, it's, going, it's going in the upwards direction. It's going good. So, this is Helix. I'm calling it Helix simply because I'm tired of saying 425 millimeter crush, 3.5 degree cant. That is a very long name for a cage. So, we're just sticking with Helix for now. <clears throat> Both of your Raven parts clear on your Etsy page. What? All of the, all of the, um, if it doesn't specifically say transparent, it's not transparent. So, like, if you get red parts, it's going to be opaque red. It's not going to be clear red. You have to special order those. Forge. Oh, no, you've been here. What are you talking about? What do you mean, hey, guys? You've been in here. So, that's what's going on. Uh, I was also... A little bit sponsored by Foam Blast. They sent me some motors and some other parts to check out. These are the Bulldog wheels that they sell. Um, they kind of went on easy, and I'm not sure if I'm just used to hooligan wheels that are on super, super tight. But these just kind of went on super easy. I'm not 100% confident that they're not going to slip eventually. But I could just be completely um, non not, you know, not used to how easy they slip on, so, um, I can't speak for that, but. <clears throat> Lisa Fortress Loam is perfect the way it is. <laughs> I mix up two videos. If you want to make sure one they're 100% on, put some blue. Yeah, I thought about doing that. Um, but I, I'm just doing testing for now, so. But I couldn't resist the white. I was going to use uh, hooligans, but I couldn't resist the white on, well, technically off-white, because it's just natural ABS. But, okay, I need to find my wire. Oh, cool, it's behind me. Black and blue. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have a Dean's connector to do this. Yeah, we'll go 
little bit of blue. Uh, don't get it on your hands, J Forge. Okay, so I've already done this. I have a standard thing where positive goes in the front. It just makes everything easier, makes my life easier. I might do the reverse on here. Maybe I'll just stick with the regular. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter to me. So we're going to measure this out. There to there. Hold a mark with our thumbnail. And separate. What's crash on the cage? Do you plan on changing it? Uh, it's 42.5. I don't have any current plans of changing it. Simply because with the cant, um, it's not a direct formula that's written down. But there is a certain ratio there, in theory, where the faster the dart's going, the less of a cant you want. And so we're, we're, somewhere, we're somewhere in there, but... This was, the, like, this is uh, the main issue with this, is uh, why people don't trust me, is because I don't really have this formula written down, I just kind of have the knowledge in my head, and I'm making a guesstimate of where I need to be. Generally, I do a pretty good guesstimate, but uh, people don't really like when I do that, so. Okay, we have our wire started. Go ahead and double check and make sure this fits. Right on the money. Let's go ahead and turn on our soldering iron. <clears throat> Doesn't take too long to heat up. Wow, I have 20 people watching? Why the heck do I have 20 people watching? That's kind of weird. I was... <laughs> um, Hawkeye, is there, sorry, I'm not used to checking the chat that often, this often. Uh, hey Hawkeye, is there time, can I pick your brain on lighting? Sure, go for it. <clears throat> is Helix the cage or the entire system? Helix is the cage. It's, it's just shorthand because I'm tired of saying the entire millimeter specs to it, because it's not just 42.5, it's 42.5, 3.5 degree cant, and it's kind of annoying. Uh, well, then people will just build their own cage. Can Well, people can build their own cages. Yes. My entire workbench is full of guesstimates. I want to buy those wire cutters and strippers. Uh, dude, uh, you can get them on Amazon. Um, it'd be... I might have a link in the description... But even if I don't, it'd be cool if you could go through there. If you search through it, uh, I'll get a little bit of a kickback. But um, these are the Irwin, the Irwin brand ones. You can probably get the off-brand. It'll probably be fine. But I heard the off-brand ones, the handle grips, like, come off. I'm sure you could just glue it back on, but you know me. BRV, not a problem. But those those wire cutters, are, are I regret not getting them earlier. They're freaking awesome. I might need to retin the tip. We'll see here. Hey, Robbie, what's going on, man? There it goes. You're about to see that even pe someone with shaky hands can do soldering if they're if they struggle enough. Come at it from multiple angles so we get it seeped in there. Are we just setting up the cage, or is it, um, mainly setting up the cage? For now, I might do another one. I might do a second one with hooligans. 
We shall see. What the? I missed that, I think, of the motors. I'm full of questions. I didn't actually say what motors. They're the uh, N-War exclusive. Just happen to be they're the same thing as the normal ones. Uh, Fang revamps. <clears throat> I have like 10 pairs of... Or 10... Not pairs. Like 10... 12... Somewhere around there, um, Neo Hellcats, um, technically already in, my friend has them, but I've been hearing very, very bad reports from the Neo series, and I'm looking for a new motor to replace my main go-to motors, that's, um, renewable because my go-to motor is technically XP180s still I still have them but um obviously those aren't replenishable so I'm looking for something a little more sustainable and um these happen to be my option um I like the specs on these the revamps and so uh I got some at End War and then uh, afterwards, Phone Blast was like, hey, we'll send you some to do a review on, specifically. And so I was like, thanks. And they ended up sending more stuff. They sent uh, two pairs. They sent the Bulldog wheels. They sent a voltmeter. Not really a voltmeter. It's like a voltage battery checker thing. I don't know. But anyway, they uh, they sent me some stuff, and that was pretty cool. So Shout out to Phone Blast. Ow! Sparked a little. Not spark, you know, spit. They do, they do. Both the hooligan wheels and the um, bulldogs are 100% copies of Artifact Gen 2s. Except for the actual fit on the wheel, the shaft. The fit on the wheel, fit on the shaft. So we're trying to fit these wires on here, correct? At least correct enough. The uh, main issue that I have is I'm not 100% looking for the best performing motors out there. We already are very excessive on power. Uh, for most of the stuff we use. But I'm not necessarily looking for power. I'm more looking for longevity and quality, durability, reliability, that kind of thing. Um, to the point of if, it, if I was going to lose 20% power or have more reliability, I would choose reliability every time. Uh, I just value it way more in a real life circumstance on the actual field, it's way more useful uh, than having everyone's motors blow out every other game. <laughs> what's your favorite what's your favorite cage wheels motor setup? Right now, XP one eighties DRS. But that is uh slowly changing to to this if it keeps going the way I want it to. Do you think the Fang revamps come close to performance of XP one eighties? Um it's not necessarily about performance. We're already pretty excessive in performance. It's the longevity, of which I do not think that any uh, motor specifically made for Nerf comes anywhere close to the longevity of XP180s. <clears throat> XP180s go so far as to have the actual uh, rotor, the, the, the whole thing, the actual shaft inside the motor, balanced. So... I, like, they're little tiny chunks taken out of it. It's, it's actually balanced. So I, I don't think we're going to hit that level of quality anytime soon. Just because I don't think peop there's a market for it. 
uh, and no one's willing to make the investment to make motors like that, so. Double helix. It's <laughs> funny. I favor power seeing as there's no war near me. You can't get them anymore. Unfortunately. Ow! Son of a bitch! Sorry, that burnt me. It's kind of sp uh, spitting. I mean, professional. Ow. Yeah, it took off some skin. That's alright. It's the uh, flux spitting at me. Uh, on the topic of motors, what do you think that there... Do you think there is a need for aftermarket rival motors? The main issue... Uh, I was talking to Out of Darts, because it's actually... Um, I heard Out of Darts was looking for a means of popping them off. So I just made a video real quick where you drill two holes in the back and pop them off like a normal one. Uh, but he was actually saying the issue comes when you go to put them back on. Is since they're ABS and not nylon, like the normal flywheels, we're assuming it's nylon, it could be, I seriously doubt it's Delridens, but most likely nylon, the, the stock wheels, um, the nylon can kind of expand and then contract enough where you can fit it over a shaft, the ABS doesn't really want to do that, and the, uh, rival motors have splines on the shaft, and they kind of lock in there once, but once you take it off, it kind of is like a damaged wheel, basically, and you go to put it back on something else, and it doesn't really line up correctly, so it doesn't actually come from getting them off, it comes from putting them back on. Now, the only way we could do that, I would assume, would be to get Delrin rival wheels made, but I'm not sure if anyone's even thought about that. I just don't care enough about rival to do it. Not to mention people are kind of already happy with the rival motors because you can put them on 3s and get them basically at the max you want a rival around anyway they're already pretty floaty so <clears throat> you make yourself look bad uh the problem with um injection molding is cages like this are pretty complicated for injection molding uh, not to mention, it's a little bit thick in places. It'll distort. Uh, it's it's kind of complicated to explain um, over a stream without completely taking over the stream. But uh, injection molding is a little more complicated than that. It ends up actually just being easier to to machine them. What I do is I pull it a little bit, and then it's still, like, attached right here, so I just kind of run my finger down this way until it kind of evens out all the way so we get the uh, hole there. Otherwise, it's going to want to, you know, retract back. <clears throat> hey, Trico, what's going on? Rival's good for the hopper-fed stuff. I don't really see a reason to use the magazine stuff. That's just me personally. If you like Rival, you know, more power to you. Different strokes, different folks. It doesn't really matter. But uh, personally, I just don't like like it. Because they're kind of floaty. So you can't really get precision with them. Uh, it's more to kind of like spray and pray. But the round nature of the Rival rounds makes it you know, way better, because you can hopper feed it. Kind of going slow on, on this, but I'm, I'm trying to keep up with everyone's comments here.
Make sure I go all the way through. Uh, hold on, my. We're over here. <clears throat> Do you have any good diagrams for MOSFETs? Look up uh, um, FDS, Foam Data Services. Or even Taruk or someone, I'm sure, would have one. I think I have one, a diagram somewhere, but it's just easier to look it up. I thought everything on Brit nerfed backwards. What? WD is leaving. I didn't even see that. I don't know if you're still here, WD, but thanks for stopping by, man. What's up, Gavin? I did. What's up, General? I did get that. I was going to uh, post a link to it the next time we did a Fallout stream, if that's okay with you. The only real way to, uh, um, the only real way to, please no cap lock spam, uh, the only real way to make sure, because right now the, um, prototype helix cage that's in, um, Oracle Divide is currently as accurate as Ethereal Fortress, but it has more power. So, I want to make sure that that's not a fluke, and make a couple more of these cages, and test them out. It seems to get more accurate, because I use the, the smooth flywheels, it seems to get more accurate as dark dust builds up, builds up, builds up. Um, so, it might not start out as accurately as I want, but I'll just need to use them, get some dark dust on there. Hey, what's going on, man? Do you think it would be more or less accurate with serrated wheels? No idea. <coughs> <coughs> this is up on OFP Drive? I don't think so. I don't think he ever released it. Not 100% sure why, but I don't think he actually released it.
I kind of like that it's exclusive to me, but I'm sure that's going to go away real soon. I'm not happy with that. That's better. Wire was just a little too far down. I need my wire snips. Send you the comic. Um, uh, when do you follow the stream tonight? Um, not sure. Um, maybe tonight. Probably tonight. But I don't want to promise something and then not deliver. So. Just manually cleaning this up a little bit. It's already pretty clean, but I just want to get a little cleaner. Do canted cages make a difference? Um, I've had this theory for a very long time, um, virtually since I've gotten into DRS, um, where the guide makes up about 80% of the accuracy and the other 20% comes from the canting. And that's a theory I've had for a very, very long time, before I've much, much longer than what I've told people um, in the past. But it was only like a year ago that Nick Marvin took a riot cage and uh, basically machined a guide for it because he has access to that kind of stuff and compared it directly with a DRS cage. And he came up with the same conclusion without outside influence that it's about 80% the guide, 20% the, the canting. So uh, most people don't believe in canting. But, I mean, my whole theory the entire time has been you're never going to get a perfect dart. And it's always going to go in one way or another. But if it's spinning, then you add a little bit of gyroscopic stabilization to kind of mediate that. And I've heard before, well, it's not the gyroscopic stabilization. It's the fact that if it's going to rotate to uh, go to one side, then if it's rotating, then it will go to all the sides and kind of do a micro helix um, but that's kind of the same thing as gyroscopic stabilization, so <laughs> not quite sure why that came up. I need to get a Dean. Where the heck are my Deans? Hold on, guys. Let me find my box. I need to find my hardware box. Hold on. Got my new Dr. Octopus helping hands like yours. Sweet. Uh, do you still have the angled foregrip for the strife you posted some time ago on Instagram? I have a question involving it. I have it somewhere. Deep in the bowels. I need a mail. Uh, let's get some shrink tubing. Um, I think my good stuff is in there. Yeah. Gotta go busy today. Hey, thanks for stopping by, man. I prefer my 3 to 1 adhesive line shrink tubing. If I can... I can get it. I do believe that's it, and that should shrink down enough. Got some turn to G stuff in there. This will do. How much seventeen thirty seconds brass do 
you put in the 916 for the hammer shot turret. Um, I would recommend half brassing it. Probably. That is a guess for the record. <laughs> If I was gonna redo, if I was gonna do it in brass, then I would I would half brass it and see where it goes from there. I just think seventeen thirty seconds is a little bit tight, but that's just me. Deep in the bowls. Okay, let's see. I could guess this length, but I'm gonna actually get a strife. And you know what? I need to open up Oracle anyway, so let's get that. The cage in this guy's a little bit off. I think I didn't remove all of the... Uh, hopefully it's just this, but I don't think I removed all of the supports and it kind of like left the cage levitating up a little bit hopefully it's that and this cage fits nice he looks what is what wait what what cage is that uh yeah i'm code naming it helix mainly because i'm tired of saying 42.5 crush 3.5 degree cant it's a bit of a long name so it's nicknaming. It is a uh, cage designed by Phil from OFP, but with my specifications, my numbers on there. I asked Phil uh, to specifically match something that I was asking for, and he was kind enough to oblige. Starting to prefer a computer. <laughs> you don't have to do that, Trico. But I appreciate it. Uh, what's... Why is it called Helix? What does that mean? Literally the first coolest thing I thought of. It doesn't mean anything. <clears throat> I was like, I need a name for this because I'm tired of calling it by this long name. Helix sounds good. For those of you who do uh, a lot of mods, this is the best thing I ever bought. I spent a little more and got a $100 one, uh, but Bosch sells one. They don't really sell this one anymore, but Bosch sells one um, that's basically the same thing. It was kind of a toss-up between the uh, Makita and the Bosch, and it doesn't really make a difference. I, I'm pretty sure they're exact, um, virtually the same, but uh, I freaking love it. All right, let's go ahead and pop this out. But what are the spe specs? Um, 42.5... The official name of this should have been 42.5 crush, 3.5 degree cant. But that's a bit of a mouthful, so... <clears throat> uh, one isn't enough. Some place so squishy. <laughs> I have twenty dollar uh, Dewalt electric screwdriver. Hey, whatever works, man. Uh, so these motors suck. That's for sure. I think. I think. I think it's the cage. That's unfortunate. I mean, it's not that big of a deal because I can just grind down the uh, motor posts, but I'm pretty sure that's the cage. I wonder if Phil can fix that. I need a Mac. See, uh, I almost called you Hawk. I was reading another one that said Hawk, and <laughs> see you, Bobo. Thanks for stopping by. 
Uh, no, wait, no, wait, hold on. I think that lines up better. I think it's still technically slightly off, but I think that's on enough where it's not going to have the same issues that it did before. So that's good. And then once I get it wrenched down on there, I think it'll be good to go. So I think we have that issue solved. I should probably check. Put a little thumbnail mark on there. And then we can cross check it with this guy. And that's about where we want it to be. I also never learned to speak. <laughs> so you might stream later today, just curious. It's possible. Don't want to make any promises. Um, which one is up? Okay, positive is up. It's a little thing uh, when wire managing is uh, the blue one is on top right here, but I wanted to make sure that the blue one is on top here as well. The easiest solution would be, would be for me to flip this, but if I don't want to do that, um, it's just easier for me to see if I need to flip this now or later. But it kind of helps that I always put the blue, the positive wire in the front, because it's always going to be on top. So if I make all of my strifes with the blue on top, I should never have a problem. It's not a big deal because you can just twist it around, but it's not necessarily as clean, so... Oh, good lord, I almost dropped that. I'll be stuck inside all day due to a typhoon going on. Good grief. So we don't need that much taken off. Nice and easy. Let's go ahead and... I was going to leave them free-floating, but... Let's go ahead and secure them properly. Just so they're not... Moving around when I'm trying to do this. think of Discord last night. I don't remember much of last night, to be perfectly honest. I get a little loopy when I'm tired. Try not to suffocate ourselves here. Let's take our time. Yeah, I'm glad you did that, Bobo, because I'm not sure anyone else did coverage that uh, thorough or well. soldering beans. They're so easy. Let's put our heat shrink on. <coughs> I saw a drac around with his phone, but didn't see posted anywhere. Sometimes he gets uh, footage that he just never uses. Like uh, NVZ, even, way back. He made a video on Ethereal Fortress, but he never did anything with it. 
I assume. Oh God, that's hot. I assume he. Um, I assume he has a lot of footage that he doesn't do anything with. Positive. That's upside down. Great. I can't even freaking touch it to reverse it. There we go. Uh, let's try to figure out how to flip this. Use these like grab grippers here. That was more complicated than it needed to be. Still is. Hold on. We're not done yet. There we go. Double checking. Do one at a time here. Dang, so many famous people. I have a ton of footage on a separate hard drive that I'll never do anything with. Italian vlog, N War 2017, uh, NVZ footage, etc., etc. Yeah. I think the mic helped a lot. It really did. The mic, the mic definitely helped. It came out, the audio came out super clean on that one. Drax audio can't be good. <laughs> it's a requirement. One. I don't like the angle that this coming out of. I do want to get a Zoom H1. I've actually looked into that. <laughs> advertising but uh, I also don't want to spend the money on it Nice and clean. I'm not a big animal person. Pretty much the only animal I enjoy are lizards. <laughs> Heather has a bearded dragon. Okay. So we have the connections on. Now I could get my lighter, but let's go ahead and turn this off. Shouldn't need it for a while. Maybe. Oh, let's get that all the way on. I love the adhesive li adhesive lined peach drink.
And there we go. One cage. Let's go ahead and put this in uh, Oracle. Gotta edit a video. Have fun, everyone. Thanks for stopping by, Bobo. Appreciate it. Good luck with the edit. Yes, yes, they are fan revamps. Is that still... It's still very hot. Let's see if I can grab it long enough to plug it in. Yow! probably put this on, huh? A lot of dirt dust. I mean, I guess it's not a lot, but I'm used to, like, no dirt dust. Where? Oh. One of these screws I noticed just now was like almost stripped, so I kind of don't want to put it back in in fear that I might not be able to get it back out again. This one, that one's real bad. You're not going to be able to focus on that, are you, camera? You know, you don't focus on anything else. Why would you focus on this? Focus, you... Nope, doesn't work for me. That's alright. It's... That one's garbage. I need to throw that away so I don't confuse it later. Uh, let's get another strife screw here. Just get one from my bag of endless strike part. If I grab a random bag, I have a bunch of uh, bags of parts. If I grab a random bag, there's like a 60% chance that it's going to be strike parts. Um, robot lizard people, huh? Not really. I might drill out. I might drill that out. Just to get a touch of clearance. Oh, you know what I could do? Instead of, instead of drilling it out, I could just overdo the screw in... That'll clear it out. There we go. It's one. Two. Drop the screwdriver and drop the screw. Whoa, that's hot. Let's use another one. Should have seen that coming. I'm doing that a lot this stream, aren't I? And four. <laughs> a little bit of plastic there. Ooh, that's hot. Spicy. Make sure there are no chips in the way. Or anything else. I think there's still a little bit of a support ring right here. There is indeed.
got any new projects planned. I have a commission in line that I need to do. It's a uh, another Kenner Strife. Oh, good thing I remembered that I have the torque all the way up. So I need to... I need to get started on that sometime soon. Oh, you know what? That was dangerous. I forgot I had this plugged in. Don't do what I do, kids. Hopefully that quiets down when I get the cover on. Oh my god. Freaking deafen me. Prepare your audio inputs for loud revving. Give you guys a second to turn down your streams here. Alright, you guys ready? Incoming. That's freaking angry. I'm not sure I trust that. That's the wheels. I'm not sure I trust those. I'm not I'm not sure I trust that. It's a two S. Just double check. Yeah, it's two S. Uh, not the motors, the the flywheels. That's that's a lot of vibration. It should not sound like that. Let's see if it lined up. That's much better on the alignment. That's much better. Uh, no, these are bulldogs. They're ones that were sent to me. Um, I think I'm going to trade them out for hooligans. I just don't know. And see if that fixes it. I'm just not 100% confident on, on these. I was going to test them out. But that's so loud that I'm not even sure I'm okay with testing that. Bulldogs come balanced? <laughs> okay. Not actually sure where my motor assisting tool is. I don't think I put it in any of my bins, right?
No, I didn't. Why would I? That'd be convenient. God knows I can't be convenient. That's fine. I'll do it manually. So you'll see here when I gotta pull these motors off just how loose they are on the shaft. Again, not 100% sure if it's normal because I haven't used anything besides hooligans in a while and I can't actually remember if this is normal. But uh, very minimal effort here and they pop right off. I think that's normal, but um, If I can freaking grip this without letting go. Oh my god, here we go. Maybe. And it's off. So. <clears throat> so yeah, these are basically the same wheel. Virtually identical. Just copied off of... Artifact. The hole is noticeably smaller on... I know I just put this one on the shaft, but it's noticeably smaller than the hooligan. Alright, let's try to get this on without ruining the motors, shall we? Because they are tough to get on, don't get me wrong. They're pain in the ass to get on, but they stay on. <laughs> Um, so let's see if we can't figure out a method of doing this. I might use my drill press to press fit them on, which is what I normally do, but that's off camera, so. Ah! Why am I touching everything that's hot today? I just totally grabbed full fist the uh, end of the heat gun. It's mostly cool by now, but totally just grabbed the end of it. Alright, I need to figure out how to support the back of this without crushing the terminals. And that's super simple, right? How do I do this? I need some sort of piece right here. It's not level, but that might... I wonder if I can... Let's just try that. 3D print support thingy? I know. I'm gonna have to lower this table that I just raised. guys are probably curious on this. I'm just using my drill press to uh, start this. If I can line it up correctly. The trick is to not bend the shaft. I might just keep going on the drill press to be perfectly honest. I need to level this out with this. Hold on, I need to run it through the bandsaw real quick. Hair. I'm 
There we go. That's one wheel on. Nobody wants a bench shaft, man. That is for sure. In all walks of life. So now we're going to get the other one on here. Carefully. Maybe. Oh, there it goes. I was like, I can't find the shaft. Nice and even pressure. There we go. Let's see if this fixes our vibration issues. If not, then I have no idea what's wrong. Hopefully it's not the motors. I don't see what would... I, I don't think the motors would be causing that much of interference. I'm surprised we hit 20... Uh, 20 viewers. We're down to 14 now, but I mean, 14 is a high average for me. So I wonder how we hit 20. Hey, I'm not complaining. Let's go ahead and put all four screws in, give it the best chance possible, and take them back out because you realize that you didn't put the front end on and with a guide you need to take the cage off to put that on all right take seven if uh, if this fixes it I can't in my right mind recommend the bulldog wheels The, uh, the loose shaft is a thing. And I, I know people don't like the tougher shaft to put on here, but it really is a better design. Uh, it's better to have that be hard to put on and take off, and you know you don't have to worry about it ever slipping off. Uh, it'll take a little bit of work to get on there, and hopefully you don't you know break your stuff doing it. But at the end of the day it's much better and you know if you don't have access to the right tools in order to do it or you are really scared of putting them on then you know there are other wheel options out there all right let's see if this fixes it so there's a little bit of um there's a little bit of uh vibration at the end there but for the most part, for the most part, that's completely fixed. Um, there's not nearly as much vibration. And when there is, it's near the end of the rev, which I'm wondering if that's uh, just like the critical velocity. So that is pretty freaking awesome. I'm so glad it's not the motors. All right, let's get a dart or 12. This is a mostly charged light bulb, by the way. Uh, no, they are N-War exclusive, which is why they're black. Uh, Fang revamps. I have not run out of XP-180s. I'm saving them for good projects.
Oh, you out? See you, man. Thanks for sticking around. Hey, Null, what's going on, man? I don't think I've ever actually seriously used a 12-round mag, now that I'm thinking about it. Won't be perfect, but we can start up the dart burn. Hooligans are made not to. Hooligans are made not to. Made dart burn. What? Not to make dart burn? Well, that's not really true, but. It's not uh it's not 100% perfect but it gets it started. There's really no you could go through hundreds of darts before you get good burn on there but uh it just prevents it from being like virgin wheels. I need to get a, I need to get, I need to, I need to go into a longer hallway. Um, from what I can tell, that's hidden pretty freaking accurate, but uh, that's only like 12 feet away from my door. Um, <laughs> they're not made to anything. They're exact copies of artifact wheels so that is false information <laughs> there there weren't made to do anything besides replicate another motor or another wheel they need a silencer they really do takes with you i wish i could man um if you guys give me i know it's i know it's kind of objective you're like oh it's super accurate don't worry but um this isn't any like super 100% detail stuff yet. Um, this is just kind of like, hey, this hasn't failed, is is more of the, the object I'm going for here. So I'm going to take this into a longer hallway, test it out. I will report back to you guys if you just give me two minutes. Is this just a test for the test drive for the cage, or is it going to be an integration? This one's not going to be an integration. This one's going to be my personal sidearm eventually. It has a name but it kind of started as a testing platform. These are actually the very first casted uh, flared magazine wells on here. It was just a test. And then I eventually started using this for testing cages, and it's kind of evolved to what it is today. So, uh, But I will go test this out. Give me two minutes, guys. I need to reload this mag. I will be right back.
Okay, so I see a very familiar pattern uh, where it's not 100% where I want it, but I have a good feeling that it's going to start doing the thing where it narrows down, eventually gets to a point. So, because you can see the dart burn on these wheels, this is the one that I've been using, and this is the one that uh, eventually started getting accurate, and that's not even a whole lot of dart build up. So, um, I might run this in the next war or something and see if I can build up some dart dust, um, test it a little bit more, I still need to chronograph it and stuff like that. Um, but it has not failed yet. <laughs> And that's the important thing. Uh, did I win the giveaway? <laughs> Unfortunately not. Uh, how's it going, man? Dragon won the giveaway. Uh, good report on the hooligan wheels. Um, we put in the bulldog wheels. Uh, which are this, essentially the exact same thing as the hooligan wheels. Except they fit looser on the shaft. Uh, turns out their balance sucks. Um... Not sure 100% why, if it's the balance or if it's because a looser fit. But um, I put them in there and it was vibrating so much I didn't feel comfortable leaving it in there or even testing with them in. So we popped them out real quick and then put on the hooligans and um, it's just better. Uh, so I still prefer hooligan wheels. I was going to use them anyway because I have so many of them. But um, yeah, it's, it's looking good so far. <clears throat> you still buying blue? What do you mean? Um, so I think I think we're going to start closing it out. I have buyers for both of these guys right here. Uh, and then this one will go in this guy provided that it is um, what I want, but the alignment is much better. I, I guess I didn't pull out the supports 100% on those, but alignment's spot on there. <coughs> they're almost exactly the same. Yeah, if you look at them side by side, they're virtually identical, but if you look at the hole between the two, just visually, you can actually see the difference. You can see that the hooligan wheels are smaller have a smaller uh, diameter hole in there, which is odd. Um, but, you know, if you if you have the tools to put the hooligan wheels on properly without breaking your stuff, it's just a better fit all around because you're not worried about those things slipping off. <clears throat> Ours were like two years before, yeah. I make the same shit. Well, you know, I mean, it's white, and that's kind of cool. I kind of wanted the white on white, but um, it, it wasn't meant to be. So I fixed the uh, supports on my machine because they were really, really hard to take off before, but I've kind of fixed them now to where I don't want to kill myself. still need to perfect like popping this out there we go but before I could not do that oh whoops before I could not do that so black wheels matter oops I hear creaking gotta go make dinner now see you later hawk hey thanks for stopping by man Appreciate it. We're going to be ending the stream here soon, so if you guys have any questions, <coughs> go ahead and ask those, and I'll see if I can get around to answering them. This cage is baller so far. So far, it is looking good. Helix is on the up and up. But hopefully we have the same results as the first cage, where it kind of slowly narrows down and then eventually is shooting arrows as it gets dart build up. Alright.
Can I purchase the Strife Angled Foregrip? It never really went past uh, the prototype stage, to be perfectly honest. It's not even really that great. I mean, it's, it works, it's fine, but... Um, I need a screwdriver for that, but I don't feel like getting up and doing that. It's fine. Bye, Hawk. Thank you for the cage stream. Lots of fun. Had a blast. Haha, -ha, I get it. Um, hope to maybe get one one day. Fant have a fantastically swell day. Hope life continues to go fabulous. Have a great day, everyone. Uh, have a great night, everyone. Night? It's only, it's not even five. I guess it's still technically night. Uh, thank you, Trico. Appreciate it. You have a good day as well. Good, sir. I want to get a big dart. They are pretty fun. I like them anyway. Well, this dream was a twist. I, uh, general, uh, get it, uh, twist, uh, can't it, can't it, oh. Day, afternoon, night, I don't know. Oh, I'm lazy. I, uh, to be fair, I do usually do night streams. Boy, these cages are convenient to make when you're not, uh, struggling to rip these things out. It's funny, the uh, canting is just three layers of three layers of filament. It's funny how just three layers of filament can make such a big difference. <clears throat> but even in this state, it's already more accurate than the uh, the straight ones from what I've tested. I still need to put a voltmeter in this. I'm going to put mine up here. I can't remember who pioneered that, but someone in the community thought of that before me. Putting it up here is nice because you don't have to have the jam door open. I don't like opening my jam doors. So, one right there and put the classic Hawkeye button. Patent pending. Join the pun side. I'm happy with that. Hopefully it'll hopefully it'll clean up its uh hopefully it'll clean up its angle. Okay, I think that's going to just about do it. We've been going for about an hour and twenty five minutes. And I think we're gonna end it there. Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate having you guys in the stream. Taking a look at the helix cage for the first time hopefully things continue to go well with this experiment it's looking on the up and up hey hawkeye you know how you keep making the overseer's guardian in fallout you keep milking the overseer's going to fall yeah probably because it's legendary All right, I'll give you that one. That one was... I'll give you that one. That one was actually really, really good. I'm surprised how fast I got that one, too. I, like, instantly got it. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm so excited for the cage. Me, too. Hopefully. Uh, if, if this continues to go down the path that it is... I mean, this is a $25 DRS cage. That goes faster. Um, this is what everyone wanted was from the Typhoon cage, which was, um, of course, now that I've put these numbers out there, I'm sure someone's going to copy it and be like, I came up with this, but just know, you guys know, <laughs> first heard it from me. <laughs> um, but uh, this is what everyone wanted from the Typhoon was a little more crush and a little less canting, but I'm not 100% sure why it wasn't, but, you know, whatever. <clears throat> A 
I'll remember. Thank you. All right. Uh, Team DRS. Yes. $25 DRS cage. I mean, I guess technically 40 if you include the wheels. Because DRS comes with the wheels. So $40, $40 DRS. <clears throat> if you don't mind having the 3D printed. Okay. That's going to just about do it for this episode. Guys, th I thought the Typhoon was non-canted. It is non-canted. That's why I said people were expecting it. <laughs> uh, if someone cheats you, I will expose them. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Um, I've, tr I've been trying to end the stream four times now. That's okay. I like talking to you guys. What wheels do you recommend? <laughs> <laughs> You're so full of it. Of course I recommend the hooligan wheels. They're just better. <clears throat> they're cheaper, they're more balanced. They fit on better. I guess I guess fit on better is kind of uh up to the user, but I mean it makes sense that you don't want the damn things coming off. So I mean, I'm I'm willing to put in the extra effort to fit them on if it means I get more longevity out of it. And I've also worked with a relatively large sample size, and they're all pretty freaking balanced, so. <clears throat> Just because he asked, yeah. <laughs> But uh, the the fangs the fang revamps are looking pretty good so far. I'll need to stress test them a little bit and see how hot they get and stuff like that. But I have high hopes for them. I've been hearing some really bad reports from the Neo series. Uh, them blowing out, them melting cages, them being dead on arrival, things like that. Um, so I'm looking to replace my go-to motors, aside from XP180s, because those aren't re... Uh, I, I can't replenish those so i'm looking for a new go-to replacement for commissions and stuff and the fang revamps might be it um hopefully they continue the dying after the the anodize it's not really anodizing uh, you can tell by having one in your hands but um hopefully they continue the anodizing black because they look pretty sick but we'll see gonna try black workers in mine <laughs> I mean, if that's what you want to do, it's your cage. It'd be cur I'd be curious to see how it how it performs. Electroplating, yeah. That's probably it. <clears throat> Looks like some sort of dip process, because there's uh, the edges are are thinner than than the flat surfaces. And so it looks like kind of like a dip. So yeah, probably electroplating or something like that. I wonder what they're using. Chrome and something. Chromoly. Anyway, I'm getting off traffic. I'm getting off oh, traffic. I'm getting off topic. Uh, we need we need to end this. <laughs> uh, Peter, what's going on, man? We are we are literally wrapping up five minutes ago. I've been trying to end this. Is that Peter? 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 Your I can't see your uh your picture for some reason. If I don't like it I'll switch to my hooligans. Sounds like a plan. I didn't know you had a I didn't know you had a pair of hooligans. Peter Butter. <laughs> never live it down. The fun shall never end. At this rate we, we will literally never end the stream. I give up. It's not Peter Butter, sadly, I don't think. Roger. No, it is. Uh, this is yours, by the way. Super easy to clean up now that I've actually fixed the uh, supports. Looking good. Uh, it did the, It's doing the same thing that this one started, where before it had the dark dust, it's kind of in a larger circle. But I'm hoping it does the same thing, where as it builds up more dark dust on the wheels, it will slowly pick up speed and slowly narrow down to a point. Uh, but so far, so good on on this guy. Peter Butter, 
Yeah, you're definitely never going to live that down. I'm so sorry, man. I'm sorry, but not really. Because it is a great nickname. Peter Butter and Jelly. Jellies. <clears throat> Peter Butter, are you feeling salty, creamy, chunky? <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. I need to break off these tabs. There are little tabs in the strife. Completely useless. Just little tabs in here. Chunky. So thick with two C's. He looks three and four. Yeah. This is going to you guys. Jason and Peter. I'm also uh, signing contracts with Phil so I can actually sell them. <clears throat> Want one ASAP. It's still kind of in the prototyping stage, but... I wouldn't consider these a full-fledged cage right now just because I'm not 100% sure that that is repeatable. Uh, and I kind of don't want to give it my stamp of approval until we have more data on it. <clears throat> the only thing that really sucks is if this does end up being a cheap DRS cage, I know everyone in our war is going to run one, and now everyone is going to be using it, and then I'm going to have to get these things machined because I'm not going to put a 3D printed cage in Ethereal Fortress, but I'm going to be outranged. Luckily, I'm still pretty good with Ethereal Fortress, no matter what, even if I am getting outranged, but, um, you know. If you sell those, will they be 3D printed or cast? 3D printed, uh, some of these parts are super, super thin, and I don't trust them with casting. So it, it would be... It would be 3D printed. I don't like selling 3D printed stuff. Um, but, you know, which is why I still consider... I'm probably always going to consider these um, prototypes until, like, actual machined ones, if they're ever made, until machined ones are made. Maybe that can be like the, hey, get on board the train and support the the wanting of getting these machined support and buy the prototypes, quote-unquote. What happened to the other strike? The hyperstrife? Um, kind of dead. Uh, we need to fix it because I have a buyer for it. To be perfectly honest, I, I'm wishing I didn't sell it because I kind of don't want to work on it. I'm, I'm kind of completely over that whole thing. Um, but I, I got to finish it because I have a buyer that's already technically bought it. Not technically, already has bought it. <laughs> so, phew, that went right in my face. I'll put money away for the cage becomes a real thing. I mean, I guess I could try to do, like, a uh, GoFundMe or something, but I seriously doubt enough people would support me <laughs> to do that. Especially with Drax just being out, where it's like, go support me. It's like, well, I just supported Drax, so I don't need to do that. I don't need another cage. And people don't... Most people don't want to invest in um, canting because they simply don't believe in it, which makes sense. support you already do. I appreciate that. But you know what I mean. It's, it's you know, going to take more than a handful of people to to fund something like machining.
It's also more expensive because you need a multiple access machine to really do these properly. So it's, uh, it's more complicated, which means it's probably going to be more expensive. Goal is under a hundred bucks. <laughs> But the 3D printed option will always be an option, so. At least five. It'd probably be easier on a six. I think it could do it on a five, though. Like two handfuls. <laughs> uh, which I promise I'll fix my mistaking when I get back on the computer. I'll keep count on streams to know how much I miss donating. <laughs> you don't have to do that, Trico. Uh, it goes up to seven axis. <clears throat> yeah, I know. People started talking, and like we're in we're actually increasing in views. So I mean, as long as you guys want to talk and hang out, I'm I'm here to talk. You know what I mean? You guys want to hear it, Rev? For those of you new people watching. <clears throat> quiet Ben would be the... Well, see, it is quiet, and then you said that, and now four people commented. <laughs> I was speaking to the end. How long ago was this supposed to end? Uh, we're going on 20 minutes. Th 15 minutes. Start streaming Fallout 4. I'll, I'll want to cut the stream and make a new one, but... Oof, it's still pretty loud. Uh, it's loud near the end, but I think that's just coming with the 3D printed cage vibrating. There's not a whole lot you can do about that. It's it's pretty quiet. It, okay, it's very quiet compared to <laughs> the, the Bulldogs. Like, it starts out quiet, but then it starts reaching the critical velocity, and you can hear it start vibrating. Turn it up to 11. I need to, uh, test the velocities on it eventually. Threadlock? I don't think it's the... Th I, I don't think it's that. I think they're not very balanced well balanced very well, whatever. Because they shouldn't have done that. And even even if it is that, they then it needs a smaller hole, period. Uh, in my opinion, I don't like the Bulldogs. Um, the Hooligan wheels are the same price, and they're better. So... They're a little bit harder to push on, the, the the hooligans, but in the long run they end up being better. So I, I can't recommend them in, in good conscience. Hawkeye don't grammar, that's right. If you've ever streamed with me for four hours, you know grammar ain't a thing. I'm from Texas, y'all. We ain't getting no near them there than there's good grammar. I love this stock. I love this blaster. It's slowly shaping into what I want it to be. It's slowly getting there. What about worker wheels? I've kind of moved past them. I don't really like the cheese grater. Um, I prefer to build up the dart foam. Um, people want results right now. The best results they can get right now. And they want to test things right now. And you can't really do that with smooth wheels. 
So everybody's like, worker wheels, chew up your darts. But in the long run, the smooth wheels end up being much better, in my opinion. But if that's all you have access to, like if you already have a pair, you know, you might as well test those, <coughs> use those. But if you're going to get a pair of wheels, I would still recommend the, the hooligans. Yaldav, Yaldav, Yaldav should have known of. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? I'm from South Carolina. Did you see the updated? Uh, I did not. What's different about it? guide is as long as the Morpheus. Interesting. Be a good comparison against this guy. bother reading that. I have no idea what to do for a strife build. Ta-da! I don't know. I look forward to testing this. Uh, this is old honey. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, it'd be nice to get it to multiple people out there so that I have other people besides myself testing it. Make sure we're getting good results on all accounts. Blast out the supports. You punch out the support, and then there's like a little ring, and you have to get rid of that ring in order to like fully punch out the support, but it's still easier than <laughs> what it was before. I hate how people basically say Stravens are here. You see, heresy. Sorry, I had a stroke there. And uh, they're overdone, but maybe that person has never done Straven. Yep. Hey, welcome back. If it's drag or something like that, get in. Well, I have a DRS cage for it. I just don't know what motor is because my son like that. I'm just tired of seeing butchered ravens. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> ravens are good fodder. So, uh, plus this would be in a custom RS build, so auto testing as well. Yeah, that's true. Only if done right are the good. Only if done right are the good. Only if done right are the good. Alright. Just gonna sit on that for a while.
read it a couple times to make sure that I'm not having a stroke. Can we see Alpha Snooper? Uh, I, I guess. This is the same man who chopped up an Elite Raven. Bob who never felt the love of batteries. It is. Snooper. You guys have seen this before, though. Look, we all know by now I can't spell them. This is early. Uh, and it's early in the morning, so I just use that as an excuse. It's not early in the morning. What are you talking about? I really enjoy the snooper build. <laughs> you gonna paint it? Yeah, eventually. Uh, since it's already ironic, it likes silly alpha snooper, spelled with an F. Um, it's going to get an ironic Borderlands paint job. I don't know how long you've been in the hobby. But uh, back when Rob from SBNC was still around, he did a build that had a Borderlands paint job with like cell shading and stuff. And everybody liked that, and it was so easy to do with a Sharpie that it became so popular, it was almost a meme, that everyone was doing cell shading. Like, almost as bad as, like, Ra uh, Stravens. <laughs> um, so I'm going to paint this in an ironic Borderlands paint job. Kind of a shout-out to that, so. Just kind of a goofy blaster with some pretty serious performance. I think this, in terms of rate of fire accuracy, um, performance overall... This is probably the best overall blaster I have. It's it's no freaking joke. I'm in a different country. It's early for me. Wait, Trico, have you always been in a different country? Or are you just in a different country right now? It's like 2 p.m. for you. You must be all the way on the west coast. Woke up. At 5 a.m. to watch at 7 now. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Trico. Rip Rob. 11 p.m. for you. 11 p.m. Good. Gr oh, wait. Uh, England. Okay. Yeah. UK. Always forget you're from the. It's in your freaking name, and I always forget you're from the UK. Uh, should I put flared mag. Should I put a flare magwell. Flared. Is the word you're looking for? Flared magwell for it? I don't know. He's from Florida. Okay, that's what that's what I thought. Just for now, Japan. Oh wow, that's friggin' awesome. Can you find Can you find any gunpla? Is there any Is there any gunpla? Gunpla stores? I'm just saying. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I was gonna say I thought you're from Florida. <clears throat> Three p.m. for you, West Coast. Yeah, gotta run for a sec. It's okay, Peter. We're probably wrapping up here. We need to we need to start wrapping up this stream anyway. <coughs> grammar, grammar, grammar. Yeah. I already picked up Gumpla. <laughs> That's funny. No, it's uh like Gundam model kits. You want some stuff? I mean, I don't not want stuff. I need to look at any P Bandai kits. Uh, can you shoot Alpha Snooper before you end? And it's a little bit too much work to, to pull it out and load it up and stuff like that. I'll have to wait for another day. I mean, you can't even really see it anyway. Whoops. Yeah, shoot Snooper. Uh, when will the giveaway be? What giveaway? Um, the giveaway has already ended for the 2,000 subscribers. It's already it's already gone. We had that in a uh, Fallout stream. It's kind of a uh, a low profile thing to kind of reward the uh, people who have been watching me stream. 
name some stuff you maybe want to just uh, stuff. Damn, Dragon One giveaway already happened. Giveaway held a month ago. Hasn't been a month, has it? Might be a month by now. It's not a, quite a month. Closing in. It's been it's been at least two weeks. And the only one who wants a short and rival mag with four balls and uh, yes, you are the only one. Who would want a four round magazine? Anywho, I think that's going to just about do it. We should have ended this a very long time ago. We're approaching uh, one hour and 53 minutes. Gunpla? Yeah. <clears throat> so, thank you guys. Peace out, man. See you, uh, see you Ryan. RZ, General. Follow the stream. Maybe tonight. No promises. All hail Lord Helix. Bye. Uh, bye. Please hawk. Later, bud. Have fun. Never gonna end. Yeah. Alright. Thank you guys very much for watching. And... End stream.